right now. We have failed our students, our staff, our community by not having accurate, reliable information. That was San Antonio ISD Superintendent Jaime Aquino this afternoon as he announced the district has canceled classes at all of its schools for the rest of this week because of problems keeping the heat running. Aquino said 70% of SAISD schools had heating problems amid this cold snap and they need to make repairs and check each campus. Garrett Berger tells us exactly what went wrong. The heat's out at San Antonio ISD. Now, so is school for the rest of the week. We're not going to open a single school until it is warm, safe, and a good place for learning. Superintendent Jaime Aquino said all 98 schools were checked Monday. But at some, the boilers programming hadn't been properly overridden so it could run around the clock in the cold. Because as a result of that error led to major issues in our infrastructure in terms of the boiler pipes breaking, breaking down, they completely froze. At other schools, the system just had issues, he said, even though the district is in the midst of replacing numerous HVAC systems with bond money. We know that some schools operated without any issues, and we also know that in some of them, it was just 10 or 20 percent, so one or one or two classrooms. He also said the district is underfunded with aging infrastructure. We've had to defer maintenance because of our financial situation. The district had already canceled class at 20 schools this morning because of heating problems and burst pipes, and another 11 were canceled through the day. It was getting colder. The stair, the stairways, the theater room, the band halls outside, and the gym. The gym was the coldest. It's now clear the problems were even more widespread. But Aquino said they can't close a school unless they've contacted all the parents. Those two that were early released or closed, the magnitude of that problem was at a 100% capacity. In some cases, we only had the cafeteria or we had two or three classrooms. The district is still investigating what happened, he said. People will be held accountable, but also there are systemic issues that we need to address. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. Now, when the SEISD superintendent noted that the district has deferred doing some maintenance, he talked about how funding from the state has not increased since 2019, specifically something called the basic allotment. There's a case that explains for that. Scan this QR code to watch that episode that explains what the basic allotment is and how the state of Texas funds public schools. You can find this on YouTube, KSAT.com, and all of our streaming platforms. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.